Hello, hello everybody. Welcome on back to No Rest for the Wicked, a brand new action RPG, Souls-like game that came out a day or two ago, depending on when this video goes up. We're going to continue our run with Kisara. We only got about 30 minutes into the game, basically the prologue. Our ship has crashed and we have landed on the island and uh, a new force is trying to attack and I guess take over and kill everybody. And so we're gonna find out kind of what happens from there. Uh, this game has been pretty solid. Uh, the reviews on Steam though have actually been pretty low. Um, they're sitting at mixed right now. A lot of people complain about how Sprint, Dash, and Dodge are kind of all on the same, uh, <laughs> are all on the same um, button. Uh, there's a lot of issues, I guess, with durability. People complain about that a lot because uh, this game does have... Um, I don't know if I have an inventory anymore. Um, but people do complain that weapons and gear do have durability and especially your pickaxes. So that tends to be not very fun. Um, I guess we'll see. I'm going to kind of hold reservations a little bit till I play a bit more. But it is a little disappointing to hear that a lot of people aren't enjoying this game because I was very much looking forward to this one. However, it is, again, still an early access, so they have time to work out whatever kinks there might be in this game. Oh, there's a lot. I love the, the look of this. Oh, look at that seagull. That's cool. So let's see. Okay, so this guy had a quest over here. Let's go look at this guy over here. Oh, I knew it. <coughs> Should have never brought you on board. You'll never make it to Sacrament from here. This coast is crawling with the risen. <laughs> oh. The waves. Can you feel them, Father? We're back at sea. And dead. Right, he's done. Oh no, he's still alive. Wait, no, he's dead. Wait, no, he's still alive. Oh, he's dead. Oh, yep, yep. Oh, no. Okay, he's dead. <laughs> he's dead, right? <laughs> You're dead. <laughs> I think he's dead now. Officially dead. Yeah, this game, I mean, this game seems cool. I don't... I think they set some lofty expectations for this game, though, by trying to say they're going to kind of reinvent the genre and all that. Uh, we'll see, because I think what my biggest fear for this game is they don't know if they want to be an action RPG or if they want to be more of a Souls like RPG. Um, and it feels that maybe based on just from what I've read, maybe they didn't do the best job of meshing up the two. Um, so again, I we'll see. Okay, this looks cool though. Um, should I try to go in there? Press Y to Siddle. <laughs> uh, we found out what Siddle means. Um, someone posted it in one of the comments. It is an actual word. Uh, you know, just nobody ever uses it. Okay, well, let's just go back this way. I thought I saw a gold crab when I was looking over here. I'm not sure where it went. Right? Didn't we see a gold crab over there somewhere? I wonder if he's hiding somewhere. There's probably a lot of secrets and stuff in this game, though, right? Like, this looks like, yeah, I was going to say, this looks like a secret, something I can break and check out. Okay, so what did we get? Um, we get gold, armor shards, used to upgrade or craft armor. Um, 100 focus or smoldering fragment of unknown origin. Okay, it looks like we do have a weapon. Um, I don't know when exactly I got that or if I've always had it. Um, oh, that is that a pickaxe? Is that not a weapon? Oh, it's a woodcutter axe. 
Basic tool, you okay? So we're gonna need tools to cut down trees. Uh, let's check that out again. So it looks like we can hold three tools. Yeah, so we're definitely gonna need we're gonna need axes, pickaxes, and then I don't know something else. Maybe maybe like a, <clears throat> a fishing pole or something. Oh, there's a, something over here. So again, we'll probably play for like 30 or 40 minutes. We'll try to keep these videos somewhat short unless I have a long, like just an absolute long play session available to me, which I usually don't. Unless it's like a Friday. I get about one hour each night to record stuff. Sometimes longer. Okay, fire pits. At a fire pit, you can cook meals using obtained resources. Every meal has different effects. Most will recover health, but some can give you temporary status effects. Always be on the lookout for food recipes to cook a wider variety of meals. Okay. Um, I don't think this game, like, resets the world. I haven't seen anything about that. Uh, so let's see. We can make a mushroom soup, which is going to instantly restore 35 health. Sure, let's craft that. We'll just craft one for now. Okay, so how do I... How do I... Change... Yeah, okay, so this is what I want to do. I want to change what's in my... Nope. How do I... See, like, see how this shows us the down button? How do I assign this to the up button? Use, discard, equip. Okay. Um, there is a mini map. How do we see the mini map again? Okay. Well, I guess not a mini map, but a map. Oh, is that, no, that's a bad guy. I didn't even realize that. I should have realized that. I probably could have stealth killed him, but... Can I pick up his sword? Focus and rune. Spend, spend gain focus by unleashing your weapon's runes. Runes are powerful, special... Attacks unique to every weapon. Ready a weapon to perform its rune. Um, so I'll hold LB or RB and then AB. Okay. So that's what that spin attack thing was from the... Where did that sword go? No, where did that... Did, I didn't pick up the sword, did I? <laughs> where did the sword go? Okay. We did pick it up. Uh, okay, so let's equip you. So, let's see. Okay, so there's... Oh, so that was... That's my attack? It's not super exciting. So this is my charged attack. Okay. Uh, treasure chest up here. Let's see if we can get that. I bet this game just... I bet this game has a ton of secrets. Cool, fishing pole. Oh, wait. Wait. Did we already... Wait. What is... Hold on. Um... Take two. When did we get that fishing pole? Okay, let's see what... Let's see how fishing is. Yeah, see, I, I knew fishing would be one. Uh, press Y when a fish bites to reel it in. Okay, we got our... Raw carp. Uh, can I not keep fishing though? Do I need? It looks like I probably need to find the fish, huh? I can't just fish wherever I want. I can only fish when I see a fish.
Wait, there was something. Hold on. There was something more up here. Let's see if we can figure what, what this is. Right? See, there was something up here. Okay, a serum whisper. You can rest and record your progress. If death should find you, you will incur a durability loss, but be spoken anew at the last whisper you. Oh, man. Imagine not finding a whisper. I hope they're. <laughs> I hope they're relatively frequent. So there's not going to be really any checkpoints. It's going to be you're going to respawn where you last found your your thing. All right. A um, couple different ways to go here. Is there no jump button? OK, well, here's how we get this. Oh, my gosh, the no, just climb up there. Okay, so we found... Let's see if it changes our look. It does. Cool. Okay. Well, yeah, I guess it would change your look, because we are in raggedy armor. So that'd be kind of lame if it didn't. Uh, let's see. Enemies can also deal poise damage. This can interrupt your actions and even stagger you. Increase your resistance by equipping gear with higher poise defense. Weight class. Controls. Dodge you perform. Fast equals quick step. Roll or... Slow roll plus stagger enemies. Um, or we can do like a shoulder barge. Weight class is decided by total weight of the equipment in your equip load. That's fair. Oh, three attacks. Ooh, wow. Brutal. Oh my gosh. I told you I wasn't going to be good at this game, guys. Upon dying, you incur durability loss. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> so how big's our durability loss? 88, okay. Yeah, I don't think I can parry this guy. I can. Oh, it doesn't stealth. It doesn't kill him. Oh my gosh, that's so brutal. Holy cow. Okay, we leveled up. What happens when we level up? What do we get? We got a one-handed knife. Um, okay, we got armor shard and a chip spike. Okay, so we did all... No, we didn't do all this. Gaining a level. You have gained a level. Every level grants you three attribute points. To assign your attribute points, open the menu selector and go to stats. It's a lot of loot. Okay, let's go to our stats. Uh, well, let's equip our stuff first. What do you? He dropped a two-handed staff that has fireball. Um, let's try. Yeah, let's try this. Wait, two-handed staff. Oh, I was gonna say no. It's two-handed staff, but I can still have my shield equipped. Um, let's see. Where was the level up right here? Okay, so let's level up. Um. Health is probably always a good thing. Um, I don't know if I want to focus too much on like strength dexterity yet because I don't know what I want to build into. And I also don't know if like I don't know what I want to build into and I don't know if we can if we can uh, re-roll. So we'll stick with just kind of the basic now. Health, stamina, and equipment load. Wielding a Wander Staff allows you to cast powerful spells using their unique rune. Casting a spell consumes focus. Okay, so we kind of know that. So now I can do a uh, Fireball. Fireball. 
Uh, charge spells must be held to successfully cast. Be careful, these spells can be interrupt interrupted while casting. Okay, so otherwise it just does standard attack, huh? What does this do? Oh, sh what am I doing? Oh my gosh, I just lost so much health to try to gain. Okay. Oh, that looks like a sh some sort of shortcut. I don't think I can do that yet, right? Okay, so let's go back then. Is this going to heal me? No, you're not. Okay. Alright, let's go cook some more. See, I wish... Hmm. I wish it would just automatically equip, like, the best food, too. Versus me having to go in every time and equip it. I know some games do that. They'll just automatically put the best food in there for you. Okay, so we're gonna go swimming, right? Okay, I know I can... Come on, I know you can get up here. Can I really not get up here? There we go. Come on. I know we... How do... Come on. I know we can get up here. Wow. <laughs> we just janked our way up there. Uh, unfortunately, we can't go this way yet, huh? Um, hmm. That's a bummer. I thought that was the way we were supposed to go. All right. Maybe not. Well, either way, we janked our way into a shortcut or into a secret. I didn't even see what I got. What did I get? Oh, let's look. Oh, wait, no, we're not going to equip that. We're using our, our staff for now. Okay, so where do we go now, then? I thought this would be the way, but it appears that there's two dead ends. Yeah, this has got to be the way. One of these has got to... Oh, maybe up here? What is this? Or it's just, yeah, just take all. Yeah, apparently there is definitely a lot of different pathways in this game. I mean, obviously that's good. Oh, this is a bad guy right here. Adds 50 durability to all equipped items. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna sneak up on this guy. You can't change the camera either, so you know what you get is what you get. Oh, come on! I didn't hit him right there, he was on the ground. This game better allow me to hit people when they're down. Uh, but yeah, you can't change the camera angle, so it's a fixed angle. You're stuck with whatever you see. Okay, I know I'm not gonna be able to jump that, right? There's no way. I'm pretty confident I can, and I, I'm afraid I'm just going to hurt myself if I do. Yep. Okay, I didn't hurt myself, though, so... Okay, let's try fireball on this guy. Yeah, that didn't do, like, any damage. Dead warriors may fall, but we will not. Upon deaf ears, prayers may fall, but we will not. Struck down, our allies may fall, but we will not. We rise.
Drifting, thieving drifter crab. Oh, we can chop down these trees. Interesting. So now we got wood. So let me see what's our durability on this thing. 44 out of 50. I'm assuming we're going to need wood to craft things, so... Probably a good idea to chop some wood here. Oh, he blocked my fireball? Man, we s I stink at this. That's, oh man, that's a bummer. <laughs> oh, I'm so bad. I'm so bad at the timing. I'm trying to, I'm trying to learn the parry. Okay, let's go back. Luckily, it wasn't that far. So I wonder how much of it resets. Does anything reset if we die? I don't think so. Yeah, because I don't think that guy's up there anymore. Let's see. Trees are still knocked. Fresh oh, shh. Come on. Ooh. Oh, God. He, it's, it's not even a timing issue with all of them. It's a range issue on some of it. Some of it's just he's attacking and he's not hitting me. And then I parry it and then I get hit on the second time around. But then some of it is definitely a skill issue. Okay, used to upgrade leather armor. A bomb can be hurled to deal 30 damage at a distance. All right, um, let's chop down this tree. Ah, see, I didn't want to attack that guy. I wanted to attack the guy I parried. Jeez. Oh, I hit the wrong button. That's on me. I hit LB to block, not to parry. I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you, I'm not going to be good at this game. We'll get used to it, though. All right, I got these guys now. All right, bring it. No. Oh, maybe it was because he did, like, a shield block? Maybe I should just less- more dodge, less parry. I think the- I think the parrying's getting me killed. Like, right there. <laughs> right there. <laughs> less, less parry, more dodge. All right, so oh, we we killed. Did we kill that other guy? I guess we did with with our fireball. 
Okay, uh, let's see. Uh-oh. Great. Who are you? Wow, you're... Ooh, you're something else, huh? We killed him on our first try without dying, though. Almost died. Yeah, this game's gonna be a doozy for me. Okay, what was that? A holy prison... Hillary? Sure, no idea what that does. Uh, man, I wish we had some sort of... I wish we had some sort of control over the angle of the game. Some sort of camera control, just a little bit. Here's another save, thank you. Did I not activate it? I think I can sneak, yeah. I was gonna say, I don't think I can sneak up on this guy. Does that not do burning damage to him? It doesn't, right? Look at that. He's on fire, but he's not losing more health. How does that work? That's kind of lame. Oh my, how, what kind of attack was that? That was such a, that's, that's, that's kind of lame how he doesn't, um, how he doesn't lose health. No, oh, get out of there. I think I need to chain my attack combos longer, too. Instead of just doing two hits, it seems like I can do much more, you know? Like, I can do... I wish this would... I guess that... I guess it makes sense that it doesn't heal you. And these mushrooms definitely don't heal for a lot, either. To be able to cook at any fireplace too. No reason why I can't cook right there. Oh no! Come on. See, I I take fire damage, and how come rolling doesn't get rid of the fire? Uh, I don't know. I don't know, guys. <laughs> they don't take fire damage when they're burning. But I take fire damage, and I also don't get rid of the fire when I roll. That seems pretty kind of standard when you're burning, right? Since I can't change the camera angle too, sometimes it's hard to tell where the guys are because I couldn't uh, I couldn't really tell that guy was there until until all of a sudden he's throwing stuff at me. That makes it that makes it tough.
It's just, it's definitely some getting used to. Some mechanics and stuff you need to get used to. Okay, so I can get up this way, right? Oh, come on, really? The range on this. Oh, I know, the, the fire doesn't do anything. Oh, God. <laughs> the fire doesn't do anything, though. The, my fireball barely does any damage. Maybe I should switch. Maybe we should try switching up our weapon. If we're not. Oh, we got some better armor. Maybe that'll help, too. Yeah, there we go. Ah! <laughs> oh, I didn't even realize that was a helmet. Maybe. Maybe that's some of our issue. Okay, so I can't use this yet because I need better dagger. Okay. All right. Let's. Okay. Maybe that was the the issue. I wasn't paying enough attention to my gear. Also. All right. Let's get our revenge on this guy. Whoops. Oh wait. No, we didn't kill him. Is he up here now, though? Maybe he's up here. Is he back? Oh yeah. We did kill that guy. This was the guy we didn't kill. Oh, I don't have a pickaxe to do that. need a gate lever handle. See, so I want to know, like, can I jump down here? I mean, probably not. The game would probably show me if I could, but... So I don't even know why I keep doing that. That doesn't do anything. Okay, so where's this gate handle at, then? I hear someone talking and getting beat. Okay, here's a key. guys are over here so how do I get in there so I oh this is oh man this is not gonna be good <laughs> this is not gonna be good I'm I'm trying it's telling me okay there we go open the door there's no way I'm gonna be able to yep three guys at once yeah right Come on, help me out, Fillmore. Ooh, you just parried me? I thought I was... Dan, okay. Oh, no, no! Oh. Oh. You can't... There's no pausing? Okay. <laughs> I know that's a thing in some of these games. Um, I, I guess I didn't expect that, though. I was I wanted to change my gear to I wanted to equip that bomb that we found. These special attacks don't do enough yet. 
Och. Oh, I want to parry that, but he did a shield bash, and I don't think I can parry the shield dashes. Well, at least we killed, at least I killed two of them. Man, what am I supposed to, yeah, what are you supposed to do if your gear just, what if you suck at this game? How do you, how do you deal with your gear and stuff? Okay, so there's just this last guy left. Thanks for your help, Fillmore. Ooh, <laughs> I love the attacks sometimes on these guys. They're they're pretty good. Oh yeah, yeah. Now you're all talk, huh, Fillmore? Great. Thanks for all your assistance. I could sabotage the gate, keep more of these savages from reaching Sacrament's walls. But I got my damn fool self trapped too. Suppose there's a reason I'm a blacksmith and not a soldier. Name's Fillmore. If you ever need anything repaired, you come to me. Nothing I can't fix. Now here, this will open the gate. Get yourself to Sacrament, through the Auburn Glades to the east. It's the safest place for both of us. But keep a careful eye out. I heard some of these Risen speak of a foul presence outside the city's gate. All right, so we can repair. Oh, so you do it for free? Repair all? Oh, okay, so all my stuff is repaired. Um, there's no way he does it for free all the time, though, right? Okay, let's see what he has to sell. Bunch of stuff. Bunch of stuff I can't use. Pickaxe? Um, could probably buy a pickaxe, right? I think there was something I had to mine over there. Did I buy it? I think I did buy it. Teaches the reader how to prepare crab chowder. And I'm broke. Oh, I wonder. Let's see if we have things we can sell. So I can definitely sell these rags. How much is he going to give me, though? Does it say? Doesn't say. So, yeah, zero. <laughs> Thanks. I kind of want to keep some stash of armor, though, just because I suck so bad. I want to make sure that I have reserves. And then, so these, this must be stuff I can sell, right? Like that tab. Okay, this is going to be it, guys. We're, we're going to be donezo for the day. Another 40 minute session. Feels like we barely got anywhere. Oh wait, this is it. I don't know how I save like in these type of games. I don't know if I need to come to this and it saves it for me. Um, I'm just gonna do that just in case. But yeah, that's gonna be it. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching part two of No Rest for the Wicked. We're learning. Uh, I'm gonna hopefully get a hang of this game sooner or later. Uh, I did kill three guys, uh, so that's something. But yeah. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope you have a great rest of your day.